Hi, my name is Daniel and I'm the CEO of Rent Solutions. This is a presentation of the collaboration and communication functionality of Rent Smart Project for owner organizations. Rent Smart Project provides a collaborative platform to integrate the owner with the consultants, contractors and all vendors. The information exchanged and the drawings documents with its complete history is captured with its audit trial and maintained in the cloud-based server. This can be accessed by anyone from anywhere depending on their access levels. In this presentation, I'll be taking you through the three possible options by which consultants and contractors can submit drawings to the owner for their review and approval as well as how they could use a correspondence management for exchanging messages, minutes of the meeting, smart folder, search and QR code printing functionality. Rent Smart Project can be set up on a cloud infrastructure which could be either Microsoft Azure or other service, cloud service providers or it can be set up on premises. The consultants and contractors can access it over the browser and in case the connectivity at the site is poor, you could have a caching server which can be located at the site so that the files can be accessed locally so that it gives you best performance. Now the contractor can upload drawings in different ways. One of the options is that as they log in, each contractor is provided a folder and they can upload the drawings that they are supposed to provide to the client into these folders. Now it could be one drawing at a time where they can provide the document and its document information or if they have multiple documents, they can provide the metadata of those documents along with the file. And if there are large volumes of document, they can create an Excel sheet with all the documents uh, along with the related file and bulk upload it. And this helps you to upload large volumes of documents in a very short time. Now, once a document is uploaded, you can have a predefined workflow which specifies that based on the type of document to which person this document needs to be sent for review and approval and accordingly the system automatically notifies the concerned person at the uh, owner's uh, division as well as it sends the document to the to-do list of the respective user who can act upon those documents for commenting and reviewing etc. Now if the contractor provides a document list at the start of the project which specifies a list of documents with its commitment date, those can be imported from Excel or from an MS project or Primavera file. And then Rent Smart Project can send reminders to them to track and make sure that they upload the drawing on time and help the contractor to submit this drawing and also to the owner to expedite it. Now, once it is received, yeah, the predefined workflow walks them through the various stages of review and appro approval, as I mentioned earlier, and then it goes back to the contractor for review. Now, in case the contractor provides the internal schedule of the drawing creation, starting from their internal uh, creation phase, review stage, and then submission to the client with the schedule, then you can even track that the activities at the contractor's end with the plan dates and ensure that you are able to monitor their internal activity so that you get your drawings on time so that it's submitted to the owner on time. Now, once the drawing is ready, it gets uploaded into the system and then the uh, when it is sent, the system can pop up a checklist which prompts the uh, contractor or the consultant whether they have checked certain parameters before the document or drawing is submitted. So this ensures that you have minimum mistakes in the drawing. And once the checklist is done, they can submit the drawing through a submittal which is automatically generated with a unique reference number. And then these drawings go to the uh, 
owner as 3D models or 2D drawings. And if it's 3D models, it can be accessed in Navisworks or it can be or a Revit model. If it's a BIM model, it can be accessed through Forge within the environment of Wrench. And if it's 2D drawings, this uh, drawings are maintained as PDF files as well as the CAD files. And for collaborative commenting, which is then IDC process can also be done through the system where the comment of uh, one resource can be seen by the other use resource. And also the consolidation of comments happens on, on a real time basis. And these comments are attached to the particular drawing when the commenting is completed. And from those comments, uh, the client can specify the approval status code, whether this is approved or rejected or approved with comments. And these comments are sent back uh, uh, through a transmittal along with the drawing to the contractor and the transmittal is automatically generated from the system. And this from the transmittal, the notification goes to the contractor through an email or if a contractor is part of the system, they can download the drawing directly and an external link is provided so that they can download the drawing through this email and see those comments which have been sent by the owner. Now, if there are many comments in, inside the drawing, if it is in PDF, we can extract the comments from the PDF file and create a comment resolution sheet in which the, all the comments that have been in the drawing will be captured. Now the contractor take, can take a choice of which all, which of these uh, comments can be executed or can be done or which cannot be done and the owner can make a decision which uh, you know the final take the decision and eventually the contractor has to make the changes as agreed as per this comment resolution sheet. You can also track how many comments are outstanding and how many are still to be uh, has been completed and you can also monitor the status of these comments. Now once the comments have been incorporated, the contractor can upload the revised drawing. So automatically the system shifts the drawing to the, uh, the, the latest drawing is uploaded and the previous revision along with this history is automatically maintained in the system. So the system maintains the previous revision with all the comments and always shows the latest revision through uh, in it. Now from that, you can also do a comparison between the two drawings to see what was the physical change between the drawing and this is possible in PDF files so that the, the amount of effort required in commenting can be minimized. Using the information that is captured in real time while the drawing is moving through the workflow as well as from the date when the drawing is submitted, you can generate different types of report in Rent Smart Project. So you don't have to anymore produce any reports in Excel by capturing data, it is produced automatically. So this shows a delay report in a, uh, of the documents. This gives you uh, information on the status of the various drawings which have been submitted. You can also get a transmittal report or you can show the revision history that how many revisions a document has gone through and what was the planned submission date and when was it actually submitted and in which revision it is at the moment and also get a count report which shows total number of drawings to be submitted by uh, different disciplines how many have been submitted how many are uh, still in approval uh, so these are real-time reports which can be extracted at any time so using this information like this is a resubmission report so this can be sent automatically to the contractor on a periodic basis and say these are the list of drawings you're still not submitted which you are which is due for submission so this will help to expedite the work and uh, ensure that the contractor submits a drawing on time now once a drawing is moving through the workflow the actual status is also captured so what you see in yellow color shows the current status and based on that status the system automatically captures the actual date so from the actual date, you also get your progress and hence you can produce your S-curves from the system. And as per the S-curve, if there are items which are not progressing as per the plan, that will get listed at the traffic light in red color. So the owner can go and click on those items which are not progressing as per plan and get the list of drawings which are not progressing and then uh, chase up only those drawings. So this helps 
to manage by exception so you only manage what's not going okay as well as you can get different types of dashboards like this which shows total number of drawings which are still pending which is completed and also you can get the trend reports which shows that these are the list of number of drawings submitted how many have been approved or and as a project is progressing how much of delay is there or what is the gap between the start of the project things with you know getting submitted on time and after that there are long delays so there are different types of reports which will be generated and dashboards which uh, will be generated automatically and this will help the owner to have absolute control on the drawings and documents that needs to be uh, coming from the contractor and consultant following are the other functionalities of rent smart project correspondence management minutes of the meeting smart folders search qr code printing and gis map let me take you through each of this correspondence management is used for sending communications by email to the contractors or consultant for clarifications such as rfis or receive communications from them by which the owner needs to communicate so you could create those communications within range in a template and you can map the fields to the database so that the correct information gets posted there and a unique number of a correspondence is generated automatically in the system so when a email is sent this act the actual email goes through your mailing system which could be outlook or google and then it is traced for its replies and using which automatically reports are generated in terms of what was the email sent when it was expected to reply and whether it was replied back or not and till that correspondence gets closed it is tracked through this report so that you will know how many emails are there and a copy of that email is also stored in range as a history so that you can search and retrieve the, all the communication that takes place in a project also the minutes of the meeting functionality is a very powerful feature where you can identify what are the various action items what are the information items inside a minutes and you can identify the action items to specific people and it goes into the to do list and make and wrench can send reminders to them to make sure that each of these actions are closed the smart folder functionality is very similar to your windows folder the only difference is you can dynamically create these folders using the metadata of the document so each user or each role of user can have his own structure of the folder and quickly retrieve the document by looking into those folders so that they don't need to search so they just go to the folder they get all the files relevant based on that folder in that particular directory so this is a very powerful functionality which can be used for uh, all the users to get access to the latest information through these folders the search functionality is also there which allows you to search not only based on the metadata of the document it can also search based on the content of the document be it a pdf file or a cad file or any file which is not handwritten if it even if it's a scan file you can search based on the content and get the list of documents and drawings which matches its criteria the qr code printing feature is a very powerful feature by which the drawings uh, 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 qr code is printed on the drawing so that when you pass your mobile app of wrench on top of it it will verify from the server and tell you whether the drawing that is printed which you're holding is the latest or not so that you can prevent the possibility of a old revision of a drawing being ever used at uh, at construction or during a procurement process so that you know the quality is enforced within the system the gis map uh, visualization helps you to retrieve the drawings and documents by uh, by seeing it in the gis map so you can search on the on the map if what are the drawings which are to be uh, released and its status so that you can get instant access to it so these are the capabilities of rent smart project for an owner to communicate and collaborate with con contractors consultants and vendors and this helps the system to ensure quality and also deliver your projects on time by getting all your design deliverables done on time as well as capture all the communication with its history and audit trail so that it can be reused at a later point and it can also be handed over to your asset management group when the project is closed out right through the system so that it gives you the latest information and the close out becomes easier thank you so much for listening to this presentation